the Ottawa Red Blacks hope rest, not rust, will be a factor Sunday afternoon against the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. The Red Blacks 891 will host the Rough Riders 1080 in the East Division semifinal and much has been made of the fact Ottawa has played just once in the past month due to a wonky schedule that saw them have two by weeks in the last three weeks of the season. One of its final games included a 3,332 win over the Rough Riders October 13. Saskatchewan won the first meeting 18-17. Story continues below advertisement While the end of the season schedule was far from ideal, the Red Blacks can only hope that time off will be beneficial in the end. When you get to the playoffs all that outside stuff kind of goes away because everyone is so focused on winning and they know it's do-or-die football now, said Red Blacks head coach Rick Campbell. I am hopeful that with the amount of rest our guys have had that our bodies are feeling good. It's pretty unique that we've only played one game in a month and hopefully we can use it to our advantage. The rest was definitely an advantage as it allowed offensive linemen Sir Vincent Rogers and receiver Josh Sting be enough time to recover from injury and play Sunday. Rogers, HASNT played since September 22, but was determined not to miss a second postseason. Last year the veteran lineman missed the last two months of the season, including Ottawa's Grey Cup victory, due to an ankle injury. IDIDNT want to go through the same thing this year because it was so frustrating to watch from the sidelines last year, Rogers said. I feel good and I'm ready to go. The Red Blacks will still be without all-star receiver Brad Sino Pulley and defensive back Darrell Gavins, with both suffering season-ending injuries. But as the case has been much of the season the Red Blacks anticipate someone else stepping up to the challenge. Sherrod Baltimore, who will play his first playoff game, is just one defensive back who has helped fill the void left by Gavins and the 25-year-old says he has every intention of playing his best game yet. Story continues below advertisement Anything that happens we can handle it, Coach Campbell he gives us confidence, said Baltimore. Right now we're really peaking, we still can be better every game, but we're really getting confident. Quarterback Trevor Harris would much prefer talking about the Red Blacks' time off than the fact he will be making his first postseason start. Harris seems almost annoyed when asked about taking his game to another level simply because it's the playoffs. It's another game, I'm not treating it any differently, Harris said. I don't think the intensity is any different, like oh it's playoffs I'm going to try harder. If you're going to try harder in the playoffs are you trying hard to begin with it's late in the season so the stakes are higher, I know that, but I'm just going to go out and play my game. Too often this season the Red Blacks have been its own worst enemy and can only hope to minimize mistakes against the Rough Riders. Story continues below advertisement we did shoot ourselves in the foot quite a bit and that's why we started 16, admitted Harris. That's the Doherty situation of the playoffs. If you shoot yourself in the foot now it's season over and you get to watch the playoffs instead of going and playing. The Red Blacks come into the playoffs as defending Grey Cup champions and strangely enough have the exact same record, 891, they had last year when they finished first in the East and had a bye to the division final, but few seem to give this year's team any chance of repeating. Earlier in the week fullback Patrick Lavoie said no one was giving the Red Blacks any respect or any chance of advancing. We didn't get any respect last year either, said Lavoie. When we got to the Grey Cup no one gave us a chance to win and in the end we won. Lavoie knows things won't be easy as they need to win the next two games to have a chance to advance to the Grey Cup which will be held at TD Place, but he believes in this group. Anything can happen, said Lavoie. Notes more than 1,000 tickets remain for Sunday's game as of Friday afternoon.